I'm going to be ranking the best point guards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier, and we have about 25 to 28 of the best point guards in my team. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below who are your favorite point guards using the game right now, and of course, let me know what you guys are changing about my tier list. But looking at the first point guard here is going to be Pink Diamond Dale Curry. I would say he's probably somewhere in the middle in like B tier. He's a good six foot five point guard. He's got a six foot eight wingspan. He is going to be a really nice offensive point guard. Obviously, being Del Curry, he's got a 96 three ball, 96 mid range, has has some amazing Hall of Fame shooting badges, Asian three, amped catch and shoot, dead eye, green machine, guard up, and limitless range as well. So, I mean, he can definitely shoot the ball from beyond the arc, like he can definitely knock it down. But my only flaw with the card, or one of the biggest flaws, is probably going to be the 60 driving dunk, just really not able to attack the rim like you want your point guard to, especially in the meta of the game, being a lot about rim running. So, that's a big flaw with the card. Dribble six wise is probably what another really good thing about the card is definitely going to be his dribble six like he's got the mj dribble style probably the best dribble style in the game right now either that or the chris paul dribble style and then he's also got the steve francis size up which is easily the best size up in the, in the game right now at least in my team and then he's also got like the normal leaner and a pretty decent jump shot so i think overall as a point guard i think del curry is probably in that b tier category now baron davis as much as i do think this card's actually underrated and it's not a bad point guard even though he's a little bit undersized i think he's probably going to be in c tier definitely not a bad point guard maybe he gets moved up to b tier later in the video now pink diamond magic johnson i have completely changed my opinion on this car when he first dropped i thought magic was pretty bad i'm not gonna lie like i did not like this car when he first came out but the more that i've used him and the more that we've seen this card in like comp games and just in games in general and unlimited i've realized that he is legit a top three point guard in the game maybe even number two right now with a lot of point guards coming out i think he's probably like number three maybe even number four but he's definitely in that s tier category if you guys don't know s tier is going to be my top five point guards in the game and i definitely think magic is somewhere in that top five because he's six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan and that's pretty much it for magic i mean his jump shot isn't great he doesn't have any really good dribble six he does have the dame behind the back though and his movement with it with the dame behind the back in transition or whenever you're like pushing the ball in the full court it is a really really good drill move and you're able to create a lot of space with that behind the back for magic so that's really nice to have on the card and then he's just going to be a six foot nine point guard that does play really good defense like i said nothing too crazy about the card except the fact that he's six foot nine and plays some very elite defense so for me magic johnson going to be in that b tier category uh, steph curry i think is probably in either low c tier or high d tier i mean yes he is a good three hunter but he's just not on the same level as a lot of point guards in the game i'll throw him in b uh, c tier just because if you know how to use this card he can be successful but honestly if it was my if, if i was using the card i'd probably throw him in d tier just really don't like using him that much dennis johnson i think is actually an a tier i think he's super lead and like a top like six to eight point guard somewhere in that range maybe like top six to ten point guard he's a six foot four guard with a six foot seven wingspan and he's probably the best short defender in the game right now he's got a 97 steel 97 lateral quickness 97 perimeter and then 90 interior defense so you play some great lockdown he's also got an 85 block so all around going to be an amazing defender he's got hall of fame anchor challenger clamps glove and pick dodger as well even playmaking wise he's got hall of fame quick first step clamp breaker so definitely can move with the rock as well speed wise he's pretty fast 95 speed 95 acceleration with a 89 ball handle and a 95 speed ball and then animations wise pretty underrated about the card is going to be his dribble six like he's got the mj dribble style and then he's got the De'Aaron fox size up and the john wall scape that's exactly what like guys like vince carter have you know for their six and kevin garnett has the De'Aaron fox size up which is a really good size up in my team right now so honestly i think dennis johnson probably going to be in that a tier uh a tier category D'Lo, I think, is either probably high C tier or low B tier. I think for now, I'll probably put him in B tier. I think he's a little bit better than a guy like uh, uh, Baron Davis and Curry as well. He's not the greatest point guard in the game, but I think he's definitely decent going to go in B. Now, Damian Lillard, probably one of the worst point guards going to be on this list. I mean, I just threw him on here because he is a Galaxy Opal, you know, and is a moments card. I know a lot of people, you know, maybe use this card because I'm sure a lot of people did get him for only 250 tokens. I think Dame, though, probably going to be in D tier. Just really isn't a great point guard. Probably one of the worst on this list now uh talking about a really good point guard going from probably the worst to the best point guard is going to be the galaxy Opal ben simmons even though i don't think this card's necessarily that fun to use and i feel like it gets really boring but he is a six foot 11 point guard he has a seven foot wingspan 
Bryant, and he's just a better version of Magic Johnson because he's a better defender than Magic. He's better going to the rim. He's faster. He's more athletic. The only thing Magic probably has over him is his three ball rating, but jump shot wise, I mean, Simmons has probably got a better release. He's got way better movement. You know, he doesn't have that Dame behind the back, but he's got like the Kobe escape, the MJ dribble style. So for me, I think Ben Simmons is just a taller and faster at more athletic, you know, just a better Magic Johnson. But both these cards definitely going to be in that S tier category. Luka Doncic probably also going to be in that D tier spot. I think he's absolutely terrible, even though Luka was so good last year. I think maybe later in the year, he could be pretty decent. But that pink diamond card, I think is on the same level as a guy like Dame. Both are just kind of unusable, my opinion donovan mitchell i think might be a little bit surprising i kind of want to go a tier i do think d-mitch is really tough i mean b tier is probably where most people would put him maybe even c tier for a lot of people for me though i'm gonna probably throw d-mitch in b or a tier if you guys have been watching my channel you guys know i just love donovan mitchell i'm gonna throw him in a tier i still think he's a top you know seven eight ten point guard in the game and that's kind of where the a tier is gonna rank like if s tiers are top five then i'd say probably like a tiers are like you know six all the way through like 11 or 12 somewhere in that range i think dmitch you know is better than a guy like del curry and delo as well kyrie irving as much as he is a fun point guard i think i'll put him on the same level as a guy like curry because him and curry are definitely both usable and they're very fun cards to use but if we're talking about who's the best point guard or who are the good like amazing point guards in the game they're going to be fun to use but they're just not going to be that elite i mean kyrie yes does have a good jump shot he's really fun to use but just isn't going to be that great of a point guard so i think him and curry both going to go in that c tier category john morant i think is probably an eight here very comparable to a guy like Dmitch. I think he's just a better Donovan Mitchell. He's super athletic like Dmitch. He's got a great jump shot and plays not bad defense for their height and their wingspans as well. James Harden easily going to be in the S tier category. This is probably the most fun card to use in my team right now, even over guys like Tim Thomas, you know, some other really good cards in my team. I'm not saying he's the best card, but he is just so, so fun to use in game. He's got a great jump shot. His six feel like James Harden in real life is movement super elite. He actually plays solid defense as well, and he pretty much greens from anywhere on the core with that jump shot and it being super fast as well so for me james harden gonna be a top five point guard and probably number two behind a guy like ben simmons john wall i think is probably in the b tier category i would definitely take john morant and dmitch over him personally i think he's kind of on the same level as like a del curry and a delo because he's much better than like the baron davis the Kyrie, and the curry but i do think he's probably in b tier another b tier point guard i think is going to be drew holiday he is a very good defender so if you're looking for a defensive point guard i think drew holiday is one of the better ones in the game but offensively does lack a little bit i would say he's probably in b tier next one is going to be jason kidd i kind of want to put jason kidd in a tier because i think he's actually super elite and very comparable to a guy like dennis johnson i mean they're basically the same point guard dennis is a little bit better a little bit better going to the rim and does have some better dribble six but other than that i mean kids got his jump shot on quick timing he's got the normal leaner and they're both going to be very good defensive point guards it might be a little bit crazy to say but i think jason kidd is actually in the a tier category and basically the same point guard as a guy like dennis johnson now this may surprise a lot of people i'm going the mellow ball and b tier i know that that's going to be probably probably pretty controversial for a lot of people i know a lot of people do like this lamella ball card but for me personally i know he has a really good jump shot with a, with a lamella ball base being one of the best bases in the game but I just don't prefer him over guys like John Moran and D-Mitch and even Jason Kidd or Dennis Johnson. I would much rather have on my court, you know, for defensive purposes and guys that can just get to the rim better. I think for I think for the meta of the game right now, Lamella just doesn't really fit the meta. So for me, I think he's probably in B tier. Don Ole easily going to be in the A tier category. He might be moved up to S tier later in the video. I'm not exactly sure who are my top five point guards right now. So we'll just keep the, uh, Don Ole in the A tier category, but probably we'll get moved up to S tier later in the video. Russell Westbrook, I think is probably either high high C tier or low B tier. I think I'll throw him in low B tier for now just because of his rim running ability and he's still one of the best slashers in the game. Able to get to the rim, you know, get those and ones, those dunk animations, get a lot of contact dunks. So I think for me, Russ, still probably in the low B tier spot. You can maybe argue though in A. I think Shea though, Honestly, I don't really like this card too much. I've used him a lot, right, when he first came out. Like, when he first dropped, that, he was, like, my starting or backup point guard for a while. But recently, I just have not liked this card too much. And I think he's very similar to a guy like Shea. Or I think Shea is very similar to a guy like D'Lo. So, for me, I think they're both going to be in the B tier spot. If you wanted to put Shea in A tier, I think that's definitely fair to say. I think for now, though, he'll be in B tier. Maybe he gets moved up to A tier you know later in the video stefan marbury i think it's just going to be another kind of drew holiday type of point guard both great on the defensive end lack a little bit of offense but i think marbury is still pretty good and deserving of that b tier spot penny hardaway I think easily going to be an A tier. Once again, not 100% sure my point guards. I think for now, I'll keep Penny Hardaway in the A tier category. Bob Sura, 
It might be crazy to say, but I think Bob Sir is just on the edge of being in that A tier category. I think this Bob card is actually super, super elite. Being a six foot five point guard with a six foot nine wingspan, he's going to give you great all around plays. Great at going to the basket, 95 driving duck, 95 vertical. He's got a pretty good jump shot. I think the only thing holding this card back is going to be his dribble sigs. Because to be honest with you guys, his sigs are absolutely terrible. If he had like the MJ dribble style, a decent size up, and like the Kobe escape, he'd probably be in the A tier category, even though his defense isn't the best. But his Six, just really hold him back but i still think he's probably in b tier a very good overall point guard tyreek evans though 100 gonna be in the a tier category and might honestly be in that s tier spot and then finally is going to be lonzo ball who i think is probably either low a tier or high b tier just prefer uh, just depends if you prefer defense or offense and kind of what you need out of your point guard i think for me i'll probably throw lonzo in that low a tier spot and now guys we have to move two of these point guards into the s tier category i think for me it's really just between these four point guards penny hardaway don ole tyree gevins and dennis johnson you know kid jaw and d mitch and lonzo are still very very elite but these four point guards are just a little bit better and we got to move two of them up into the S tier category. Now, I don't exactly know who to put. I'm kind of leaning towards Penny Hardaway just because he's six foot seven, even though he's kind of boring to use in game because we've been using him for so long as the best point guard and one of the best point guards. I still think he deserves a top five spot. And then for my last one, I think it's really between Tyreek Evans and Dennis Johnson. And this might be a little bit crazy to say, I think I'm going to go Tyreek Evans over Donald. That might be a little bit crazy, but he's six foot six, has a great jump shot, and I think he's probably the fifth best point guard in the game. And then I think I'm also going to move Shea up into the A tier category. But let me know in the comment section down below, what would you guys change about my point guard tier list? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.